the one, the only, Ben Seal. Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ben Seal. And today's daf is Pesachos Gitta and Daf Sam of Dal, number 64. The Gemara starts off on Sam of Dal and Aleph, Machlokas between Rav Huna and Rav Chista. Machlokas says as follows A husband gives over a document to a shlish, a third person, a third party. And there's a woman, and the woman, the shlish, the third person, claims that the woman appointed him as a shliach to makabal the get, and the husband knew this and gave it to the shlish as a gerisha, and he was makabal the get for the wife, and she's megoreshes. And the husband contests and says, no, I gave it to the shlish just to hold it for me, not to actually for gerisha. Who do we believe? Is it a gerisha or not? Rav Huna says we believe the husband. Rav Chitza says we believe the shlish. We pass in the Rav Christa, you believe the Shlish, and the Gemara supports it. The Gemara supports it from a Brisa, where we learn that how does Baldin is Kamea Adem Dami. However, the Brisa says that more believability than we give to two Adem and the Bali Dovar, we give to a Shlish, a third party. He is more Neman than both of them, right? If two people are fighting about money, this person says, You owe me money, the person says, I don't owe you money, and the Shlish sides with one of those parties, we, we believe the Shlish. Why is the Shlish more Neman? And what is this? Phrase, so does Baldin come aid in the white maid in the dummy? The Gemara says in other places, two aid is like 100 aid Now we know in Dine Mammon is two aid is proof, right? If you want to take out money from somebody else, you have to bring proof, two aid them. Two aid is for one aid is not proof for Dine Mammon. However, I've mentioned many times that it's not 100% proof, it's probable proof, right? You know, if you go to a secular court, you have to prove it beyond a reasonable doubt. Beyond a reasonable doubt. So take away a reasonable doubt. When you Prove something beyond the reason of that does not mean you've completely proved it 100%. You've proved it that it's probably true, right? Which is basically what Shtei Edim means. It's probably true. The Torah relies on that. Hold um, Baldin. A Baldin is more Neman. If a Baldin admits to something, he's more Neman than other Edim, two Edim. If two Edim say, you don't owe the money to the guy, and the, the, the litigant comes and says, I owe the money to the guy, he's believed. He's believed like Mea Edim. So even the Gemara says two Edim is like Mea Edim. When that's only when the two Adim stand by themselves. But if the Baal Din, who's like Maidim, is against the two Adim, the Baal Din is more Neman. Why is the Baal Din more Neman? Because he's a Baal Dover, he's part of the case. When you're part of the case, you're more reliable than two random people. I would say, I like to say the Baal Dover, the Adim are like 80% proof. The Baal Dover, the Baal, the Baal Din, what? The Baal Din is Neman like. Um, 90 percent proof, like 90 percent proof, and that's why in these cases the shlish is more neman than the baldover. The, the shlish is more neman than. Uh, sorry, so let's get back to our case. So that's the baldover. Now we're talking about a shlish. The shlish actually, it's clear from the Gemara has more proof than the bali dover. The bali dover have 90 percent proof. The shlish is more neman than the bali dover. What comes out from the Gemara? Why is shlish more neman? It's clear from the Gemara. It's only when he has a document in his hand. He has the the star get the get the Gitei Nashim, the, the bill of divorce, in his hand. Once he has it in his hands, so he's Neman. Why is that? The Gemara explains it's only in a case where he's actually holding on to it because the, the, the Svar, the logic, is that he has a Migo. The Migo, Migo basically means that I could have made a better claim, but yet I make an inferior claim. So therefore we give him the credit of the better claim. What's his better claim? Or if he's holding on to the get, he can go ahead and give it to the woman at any time, right? He give it to her any time. He has not chosen to do that. He has chosen to say, I was Makabel the get as a shliach of the Isha. So, because of the Migo, Migo basically is Raglayim Ladavar. The Gemara calls Migo Raglayim Ladavar, which is an assumption, which is like a Chazaka. Chazaka is an assumption. So, it's like 75% proof. So, more than 50%, 50% is, you know, basically bleed suffix. 50% 50%. Chazaka is another 25%. So, an eight echad, the shlish is an eight echad. He's one eight by himself. Eight echad emer v'isura. So that's seventy five percent proof. That's a chazaka. That's an assumption. Allah. It's not the eighty percent proof needed to, to prove beyond a reasonable doubt to take out money. But you add twenty five percent of the migu. That's a hundred percent. So when you have a migu plus eight echad emer v'isura, and that equals a hundred percent. And as the Gemara makes clear that it's necessary over here that even though we learn by gitim, we learn davar davar mamon. Right, davar davar, it says davar by mamo. You need to weigh them, and we learn it says matzah by erva is davar, that by to prove gerushin and kedushin, you also need to weigh them. 
According to Rebbe who says the is Sira Karsi, it's more than that. It's not just proof of two Edim. You actually need the Kresas. Edim is Sira Karsi. Rebbe is saying it's not just the proof of giving over the get. It's the Kresas happens through the Edim. Right? Rebbe Meir holds Edim Chasim Karsi. Right? Basically that because the document was signed and validated, so that makes it a good Gerish and we can rely on that. According to Rebbe Lezer, there has to be Edim because it's not just about proof that the get was given over. It actually does the Krisos. The actual Chalos Krisos happens through the Mesira. And that you need 100% proof for. And that's why the Gemara is insistent that because you need Edim Mesira Karsi, the Gemara, the Gemara is our Mishnah, is Rebbe Lezer, Edim Mesira Karsi, because you need that, so therefore you need the Migu. You need 100%. You need the Shlish plus the Migu. If you don't have the Migu, like the Mishnah says, it was, it was Kara. It was a time where Gitan were ripped up because to avoid the government knowing about rabbinic courts. So therefore, if there was no, if the shlish was not holding on to the get, even though there's other ways of proving it, there's the adim, is bali davar. If you don't have 100 percent proof, you don't have adim masira karsi, which is necessary 100 percent proof according to Belezar, because you need to be kores. You need to sever the bond of marriage, and that needs 100 percent proof. And that's what Belezar means adim masira karsi. It's not just proof; it's actual an action of of basically cutting off the marriage, cutting the marital bond. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you on the next one.